I've been coming to Swim RVA consistently since like during the pandemic when it opened back up. What drew me here is that I was stuck working at home all day and I needed a place to get out and I wanted to do something healthy for my life. So I started coming here before they even had classes. When I started coming here, I was 410 pounds and I was scared to do anything except for the treadmill. So I would walk on the treadmill for a little while. And then after a while, I saw that they were starting classes again. And I said, I'm going to take a chance and do it. I made it a goal on New Year's to get in the big pool and take a class with Rose. And so I said, if I have trouble getting out, somebody will help me. But that was my main issue with getting in the big pool is getting out. And um, I got in and got out and I haven't missed a day since. I like working out on my own, but I really enjoy the classes too because there's such a big community involved in the classes. We just have this great bond with everybody that usually comes to the classes. And I encourage other people, so if I'm in class, in Lawrence's class, I encourage other people to take the deep water and not be afraid of the water that I'm there to support them. And with when new people come to classes, I'll kind of hang by them and make sure they know the steps and kind of help them along. So I think that helps too. Rose is a great um, motivator and so is Lawrence. I recently had a weight loss surgery about three weeks ago and Rose texted me almost every day and checked on me. And then in the year before surgery, I lost down to 302 pounds. Being in the pool is actually, I love being near the water. So combining that, and now I have a love of exercise in the water. My muscles are better. I move around a bunch more. I've lost over 100 pounds already. And that was before even having a tool such as surgery. It was all the work I put in here. I say definitely the first step is just coming and getting your feet wet. Even if you start like I did in the therapy pool for 10 minutes at a time, at least you're doing something. And even the days that I felt tired and I didn't want to come, I would come and say, it's better than sitting on my couch. So any kind of movement you're going to do, come and do something. On my goal list is to do the New Year's Eve fundraiser and swim that. Um, last year I was a little too intimidated. I hadn't got in the big pool yet. But now that I'm in it, I'm ready. And I'm encouraging other people that work out in the two classes to kind of do like a team with me and do the New Year's Eve swim too, so that I can not only support Swim RVA, but also support my own health goals. And my one of my goals in doing this surgery and having this journey is to encourage people. At 410 pounds, I felt like everybody was staring at me and like I didn't belong here, but that's so far from the truth. And everyone here is so nice and no one singles you out. They help you, they're courteous. Um, all the members, all the staff, everybody's so nice here and welcoming. And it really is a community here, so I enjoy that part of it. I have a couple of teachers that they have just started back to work and it was so hectic they weren't getting here. And so I would take a selfie every day I was here and send it to them and say, I miss you. And um, Wednesday one of them came back. So I really enjoy seeing other people come to wellness overall means whole body wellness. So it's not only exercise, it's keeping your stress levels low. You don't have your phone. You know, you don't have anybody bothering you. It's just you time. Um, that very first day when I came back after surgery, I just smiled the whole time I was working out, even though it was hard because I had been out two weeks. Um, but it's just like everything evaporates off of you when you're in the water.